Hi everyone. So chair yoga for 30 minutes and I'll just wait uh, for people to come on. <laughs> Let me just put it into the thing. 30 minute chair yoga. A little uh, TGIF. Little TGIF gift. All right. <sighs> Let's see who's on. Okay, let's make sure that there we go. What a great way to also just break up the day if you're on a computer a lot. I will start on time, but actually let me get the, uh, let me just get the phone. Okay, so we are going to start, I hope this is, um, yeah, we'll start, I'm just on a few minutes early, and we'll see, we shall see. 30 minutes of chair yoga. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna begin. Okay, so welcome everyone, whether you're gonna join right now or whether you're gonna do it on my uh, on my IG TV. Uh, we're gonna do a nice 30 minute chair yoga session as a gift from me to you. Should I give it one, I'll give it one more minute and then we shall start. Those of you that are on the computers all day, just make sure you're taking time to break up your day uh, with some chair yoga or some movement. It doesn't have to be chair yoga, of course. Okay, so we are going to start. So welcome everyone. If you're at home, watching this later thank you for tuning in if you're live with me thank you for tuning in <laughs> and let me just get the lights going uh-huh all right so we're going to start with a little bit of breathing which is super super important make sure your feet are on the ground make sure your seat is there if you're on a desk table just turn your chair around and then just go ahead and bring your hands to your belly if you're just joining in, we're doing some chair yoga. So grab a seat. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Um, 30 minutes of chair yoga to break up your day. So sit nice and tall. Make sure you're on a chair, though. Bring your hands to your belly. Welcome. And then just take a deep inhale through your nose. And you're going to let it out the mouth with a sh sound. Shh. Inhale. Expand right into your palms. One more time like this, inhale. Exhale out. And then go ahead and bring your hands to the side. And this could be a little bit challenging, especially if one side maybe a little bit more than the other. So breathing right into your palms. You're going to inhale, expand into the palms. Expand into your palms. Getting the diaphragm 
open, strengthening the lungs. One more time on knee, on knees. Inhale. And then bring your hands to the back, to your lower back region. So the palms are turning out. And you're going to be breathing right into your lower back, with the, right into your palms. So getting that feedback right from the palms. Inhale. Inhale. Breathe into the lower back region. One more time. Breathe in. And then bring your hands to your upper chest. And you're going to be breathing right up towards the sky, really lifting up your heart right into your palms. Here we go. Inhale. Breathe into the palms. Inhale. Breathe into the palms. One more time. This also calms your nervous system. Relax your hands and notice the, the, just feel that feedback from the palms, from the belly, from the side body, from the lower back, and from your upper chest. Now with that sound, we're also stimulating things in our head, so the vagus nerve. We're calming the sympathetic nervous system and we're getting our diaphragm and our lungs really integrated into our breath. Okay, bring your hands to your thighs and just bring your chin down to your chest. A healthy mobile neck, just just an FYI, is your chin is actually touching your chest. And then lift up and then reach the chin up to the sky and then just feel the, reach the chin up, maybe use your fingers to stretch it up a little higher. Honestly guys, take care of your necks. It affects the blood flow, oxygen to your brain. Come on down to neutral. Good, grab hold of the left hand. I don't know, so you just use your left, I know it's mirror image, left hand outside of the chair, and then just kind of lean, we're getting to the upper trapezius, we're actually gonna get into the levator scapula as well. So your right ear is to the right shoulder, your left hand is holding, and all you're gonna do is an inhale, and you're gonna just chin to your shoulder, and then ear, oh my goodness me, chin, and then ear, chin, and then ear, and then chin, and then your ear hold. Use your right hand, lift up your head. Oh, and just relax. So this can be a fairly tight area. <laughs> this holds our stress, it holds our to-do lists. If you have a lot of obligations or busy, this area holds all that. Then go ahead and bring the right hand right hand around the chair and then just oh just let the left ear melt right into the scalings the upper trapezius and then here we go chin to your shoulder and then ear to your shoulder chin oh so good in ear chin and ear chin and ear one more time guys chin and ear hold and then slowly release hands onto your thighs and just close your eyes for a moment. Okay. You're gonna bring your hands behind you. Now, if you need to hold higher up, that's fine. Hold your hands behind you, feet on the ground solidly. Open up the chest, really squeeze the shoulder blades together, look up. Exhale, round, so shoulders down, round, chin to chest, navel to the spine. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round chin to chest. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round chin to chest. We're gonna hold it open up. That's, this is generally where we're, we're tight. So squeeze the shoulders together, lift up your heart. Two, three, four, working on our shoulder extension as well. And then slowly release. Our mind just released on their own. Make sure that your knees stay center. And then bring your left hand, for some reason for me, it feels better to be on the top. 
and then bring the right hand outside of your left thigh. So I know it's mirror image, just go by my words if, if you can. Keep your knee center, bring the right hand outside your left thigh, and then resist the thigh into the hand, the hand into the thigh, and then gently twist. Just take three breaths like this. Good. Move a little bit closer, maybe to the outside. Bring your left arm out so you're no longer holding. You're no longer holding. And then you're opening up your right arm as well. You're doing a nice cross, and then across, open it up. Reach, round, 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 go to your left arm, and then across. Look, follow the fingers with your eyes. And then across, last one. And release your arms. Whew. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Let's just go to the other side. So I have my hand on top, it just feels better for me. You could be absolutely on the side. Bring your left hand outside the thigh, keep the knee center, keep your spine long. Look over your right shoulder and breathe. Breathe right into your back body. So if you were here at the beginning when we did the breath work, breathe into the lower back and higher, right to the backs of the ribs. And then go ahead and release, open up both arms, and then bring the fingers, and then slide and open. Follow the fingers with your eyes. Slide and open. Two more times. Slide and open. Last one. Slide and open, and then go ahead and release. Okay, so separate your feet so they're a little bit wider, toes can churn out, and then just sweep the arms up. Exhale, release. So really gain back into that diaphragm, breathe in, and then exhale. One more time, breathe in. Exhale, your arms down. So turn your toes forward. We're gonna get down to the spine mobilization. Now my chair, that's why I have it on the mat, because it can slip and slide. So make sure you have a nice uh, seat on your chair. So bring your chin down to your chest, let your arms hang, round between your shoulder blades, draw the navel to the spine, and then just roll all the way down, let the head go, take a deep inhale through your nose, let it out the mouth. Now draw the tailbone down, then tuck your tailbone down, draw the lower belly in, so start from your lower back, then draw the navel to the spine, the rounding to the middle back, and then come all the way up, and then the last two things you do is lift up well, roll your shoulders and then lift up your head. Take a deep inhale through your nose and then let it out the mouth. And let's do that one more time. Wakes up your whole back line. I talk about this if you've been to my class as well. Chin to your chest, round between your shoulder blades, round through the mid spine, navel to the spine. Let yourself go, ground through your tailbone as much as you can. Inhale through your nose and then let it out the mouth. Ha! Tuck your tailbone, so really draw the tailbone to the, uh, to the chair, then draw the lower belly in, start from your lower back. Let's draw the navel to the spine, then look rounding through the upper back, and then slowly looping the shoulders back, and then lifting up your head. Very powerful. When we wake up the erectile spinal muscles along the spine, we actually get more vitality. Not necessarily energy to party, although perhaps, <laughs> but just feeling more vitality and energized for our, more productive for our work day, for those of you that are doing that. Bring your hands behind you and twist your fingers. If it feels too much, you can, your fingers don't have to be close to each other, otherwise interlace. Here we go, lengthen up, front ribs are in, inhale. As you exhale, bring down. Keep the left shoulder open, elbow open, and then bring it up. Bring the left elbow down, and then bring it up. Bring it down, and then bring it up. Now, I'm gonna have this on my IGTV. Do this once or twice a week, like right in the middle of your work day, if you can. Listen carefully. Bring your right elbow to your right knee, release your right arm to the inside. Bring your left arm behind you. And I'm kind of, what you can't tell is I'm actually resisting my upper arm or my forearm into my inner thigh and I'm letting my right ear hang. It should feel amazing. You're gonna get a stretch. Breathe into the, into the feedback of your left side But if you remember when we had our palms there. And then slowly rise on up. Keep your head down and use your hand and then lift up your head. Beautiful, guys. Into, bring your hands behind your head or interlace, you choose. And we're just gonna go to the right, go to the right, and then come on up. 
Now you're gonna hold the left. Stretch your left arm to the inside. Bring your right arm behind. Let the left ear melt. Resist the form into the inner thigh. Let the head go and breathe. Now breathe into your right side body. Those of you that are here at the beginning for the breath work, if you weren't, I highly recommend you watch this again or do this again, don't just watch. <laughs> and then rise on up, keep the head heavy, and then bring your left hand, and then slowly lifting it all the way up. Okay, so feet hip width apart, I guess. I'm gonna start with my right side. If you wanna do mirror image, that's fine too. Bring the right knee into your belly, and then just hug it into your belly. You, know, you can round your spine a little bit here for sure. But start to feel a little bit of your obliques, your core, by really feeling that energetic connection between your thigh and your ribs. Mm -hmm. Now hold it here. I like to flex my foot. It's fine if you point. We're going to work on the hip flexor strengthening. Maybe release your hands, but really draw the thigh to your belly. One, draw the closer to three, four. Beautiful. Bring your left hand onto your thigh, right hand onto your kneecap. Try not to lean too much back, but you, you will find, depending on the chair that you have really, and then just circular motion five times each way. I'm here in my clickety class, I don't know about you. And then go the other way five times. Now, a lot of people don't realize this, but taking care of your hip mobility helps your lower back. Mm -hmm. Hold it open and then just kind of lift up the foot, drop the knee, flex your foot, I'm gonna get a better seat. This is gonna be hard, so you may actually wanna just hold your right leg up or maybe release one, to get tall for the spine. Three, I know I'm here with you. Four, and then maybe no hands, bring the right ankle over your left thigh. Ooh la la. Okay, so left foot is grounded, toes forward, flex your right foot, interlace your fingers behind you. If that feels a lot, just have your arms behind you like this, it's all good. Here we go, keep your elbows open. Try not to bring your chin to your chest. Inhale as you exhale, melt down. Inhale up. Exhale, melt. Inhale, up. Exhale, melt. Inhale, up. Uh oh, I think I lost count. But let's say it's five here. So five, breathe. Draw the chest to the shin, two. So forward and down, three, four. Listen carefully. Release your right hand. Bring it outside of your right sole of the foot. And then bring your left hand outside of it. I have the outside of the chair. If you're, depending on your chair, you might even have it on top. And then resist the form into the sole, the sole into the form. Open up and breathe. Keep your chest reaching to me. Three, four. Oh, so good. And slowly release. Um, I did move today already, but boy, am I feeling this stuff. All right, bring the right thigh over top of your left. Make sure that you're... you're and all you're gonna do is you're gonna melt down. Now at first it's not gonna feel like much. What I want you to think about, squeeze your thighs together, draw the right thigh back. Squeeze the thighs together, draw the right thigh back. Melt your heart onto the thigh, let your head go up to three, four, and then come all the way up and slowly release, shake it out. We're actually gonna get off the chair. Well, in a second. We're gonna do 10 squats. So I, you know, I have a, a little group of older ladies. They're in their 70s and they, you know, we do this too there. So toes face forward. I think I see Charlene, hi, you're halfway through, but it's okay, join in. But we still have the other side to do, so you did miss the first side, that's okay. So we're gonna do squat, toes forward, could be a little wider. Now we're gonna go up on the exhale. When we come down, either just let you're like, don't come all the way down and just hover or sit down and go back up. We're gonna do 10. Here we go, guys. Inhale, exhale, push the heels down, squeeze the buttocks, move the hips forward, and then inhale down. I'm just gonna hover because my chair uh, just feels better. And then exhale, but you can absolutely sit right down, no problem. Here we go. Hips back, heart up, and breathe. Hips back. Beautiful, guys. So yes, a little added bonus of glutes. I mean, who doesn't want uh, a nice booty? Six to us. 
Well, my clients that I teach, my ladies uh, that are in their 70s, but very much young at heart, we, we use the word tohas. They told me, they're Jewish, they told me tush is for kids, tohas is for adults, so here we are. All right, guys, hold it up here. Hold it up. Squeeze the glutes. Front ribs are in one. Push the heels down into the ground. Three, you should feel your whole back line, not just your booty. Inhale as you exhale, release. And then just shake. Just, uh, just shake, literally. There's no wrong. You can go down. You can go back. Shaky, shaky, shaky. So great for your connective tissues, um, your lymphatic system. Shaky, shaky, shaky. <sighs> De-stressing, like uh, releasing extra emotions. <sighs> Three more breaths. Doesn't have to look like me. You could do a forward fold. You could do a back bend. And hold it up. Just stand up for a moment. <sighs> All right, guys. Let's sit down. Let's do the other side for the hip. All right, so soles of the feet down, bring up the left knee or the other side from whatever you did before, and then just draw the thigh into the ribs and breathe. Okay. Thank you so much for showing up. This will be on my IGTV, so you can do this anytime. Especially those of you, oh, so let's flex the foot. I need to make sure we move the foot. So draw the thigh to the ribs. If this cramps up, your hip cramps up, stay holding, otherwise release. One, breathe, two, Draw it closer, three, four. Bring the right hand to your thigh, left hand to your kneecap, and circles. What was I saying? I'm gonna leave this on my IGTV, and you can do this, I think that's what I was talking about. <laughs> All right guys, go the other way. Thank you so much for joining. Okay. All right guys, lift up. This is my tighter hip, I mean, as you might be able to see. So flex your foot. If it hurts too much to release the foot, then just keep holding like so, it's all good. It takes time to work on active flexibility. Otherwise, you're gonna release. Here we go, one, two, three, four. Maybe no hands, bring the left ankle over your right thigh. Oh, hi, Lisa. <laughs> yeah, if you have to go, that's fine. As long as, you know, if you stayed for some of it, thank you. All right, so flex your foot, and just really acknowledge your efforts for coming out even for 10 minutes. Keep your elbows open, here we go. Inhale as you exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, keep lengthening your heart forward and breathe, one. Heart forward, draw towards the thigh, but don't let your chest collapse. And slowly release, bring your left arm, forearm, outside, right hand, and then resist the sole into the forearm, the forearm to the sole, and then lengthen, open up the right shoulder. Breathe, 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 breathe. Breathe, 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 breathe. Oh, so good. I love those twists that are active where you get that resistance, which is why I really like those. Slide your left leg over top of your right. Squeeze the thighs together, melt down. And then you won't feel as much unless you integrate these inner actions. So squeeze the thighs together, draw the left thigh back. Squeeze the thighs together, draw the left thigh back. Squeeze the thighs together, draw the left thigh back. And then come all the way up. Release your leg. Let me just check the time. Oh, such perfect timing too. I didn't well, I don't I didn't time it, but somehow things always work out, don't they? Alright, so just take a moment, take a deep inhale through your nose, and then let it out the mouth. Let's stand up and go into a slightly wider, not, not a full goddess pose, but your toes are turned out and you are it's not completely goddess pose. Then you're gonna do your arms like so, cactus arms, front ribs in, please, the whole time. And it's gonna do 10 pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stand up. Beautiful. Turn the right toes to the right. 
to bend the left knee. Now, if you need to be on the chair, you can absolutely do this on a chair. You know what? I'm gonna do it on a chair too, but you can be standing up. So my right knee is bent, my left toes are in, and I'm opening up my arms. But what I want is the palms to go up. Now, we're gonna pulse it back, but front ribs are in, so it's not like that. The front ribs are in. Look over your right middle finger, just like you would for warrior two, and 10 pulses back, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release your left fingers outside the thigh. Bring the right hand up and over. Release the head. And maybe, I'm actually gonna do this myself. You can do what you know, or you can maybe try this. Open up the elbow, resist the head into the hand, shoulder down, and then kind of draw the right ribs, magnet, magnetize the right ribs to the right two, and three, and four. Beautiful, guys, come all the way up. Before we do the other side, turn your toes forward, have a seat if you are not. Actually, you don't have to have a seat, you could be standing for sure. You're gonna fold down again like we did at the beginning, but you're gonna cross your, uh, cross your arms and grapple the opposite ankle. Now resist the ankles into the hands, and then spread between your shoulder blades. And if you want more, just really try and tear the ankles apart. Let, let your head go. Three, four. Oh. And slowly release, but roll up. Just like we did earlier, tuck your tailbone, draw the lower belly in, draw the navel to the spine, and then roll your way up. And then lift the shoulders, and then lift up. Take two breaths here before we do the other side. Inhale. Stay open through this time, through any time, but especially this time. So I'm gonna stay on the chair. You can absolutely stand up. All right, so warrior two, left knee, and toes are forward, right toes in. Make sure that right leg is nice and straight. We're gonna turn the palms up again. We're gonna pulse back again, but keep the front ribs in. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, release your right fingers down. Absolutely, you can do this. You can do the arm behind. I'm gonna do the hand behind the head again. And then you're gonna resist the head into the hand, soften the shoulder, and then, oh, and breathe, breathe in. Magnetize your left ribs to the left. Magnetize your left ribs to the left. Three, four, oh, and slowly, slowly come all the way up. We're gonna do the exact same thing, but gonna add on, we'll see, we'll see how we go. So feet are a little wider than hip width apart, go ahead and melt on down, and then cross your arms, resist the ankles out. Listen carefully, release your left hand only, and then open up that left arm to the left, bring your left hand behind your, arm, your back, and just open up any amount, one, two, three, and kind of draw towards the right side. And then slowly release your left arm back towards the right ankle. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Let it out the mouth, ha! And then release your right arm, open up. And then bring the right arm behind. Lengthen the chest to me, and then open up that right shoulder or draw the left shoulder under. Two, three, four. Exhale, release. Both hands, let your hands hang. Take a deep inhale through your nose and then let it out the mouth, ha! Ground through the soles of the feet. Tuck your tailbone, so ground your tailbone. Ground, uh, draw the lower belly in. Draw the navel to the spine. Roll your way up. Loop the shoulders back and then come on up. So we must have done that today in the session around five times or four times. So amazing for waking up your energetic, your connective tissue, and also your muscular uh, nature of your back body. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I, oh, you're absolutely perfect, Sean. Okay, so toes, uh, toes face forward, you're gonna hug yourself, doesn't really matter which way. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna, listen carefully, you're gonna ground your spine, chin to chest. Good, now, all you're gonna do is rotate to your left. So rotate to your left like you would be in a twist. 
Now draw the left shoulder towards your left hip. So side bend. Then open up the chest up to the sky. Oh. Side bend to the right. So draw the right hip to the right outer ribs. And then twist to the right. And then bring it down. Mm -hmm. If this is your first time, it might feel like a little different, and it is. Let's go the, up, the other way. Now here we go, you're gonna rotate to the right. You're gonna side bend, so draw the right outer rib to the outer hip, and then add a back bend, lifting it up. And then left rib, outer rib to left hip, side bend to the left, and then rotate it in. Release your arms, and then hold it up. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Let it out the mouth. And let's just do five rounds. You're gonna bring the shoulders up to your ears. Let it go, ha! Bring the shoulders up to your ears. Sha! Two more times, shoulders up to your ears. Last full set. I wanna finish off with a balance pose, which, might, which means that you will have to get off. And all you gotta, actually, yeah, yeah. So, press your left foot down. Ground through both left foot. Start to kind of get nice and loose with your right knee. So bend that knee. And then lift up your knee. Hold it with one hand or hold it with both. Or draw that right thigh in. Now if that's not feeling good for you, you can also stay seated and do the same thing. Okay? Here we go. Draw the thigh in. One, two, three, four. Bring your left hand to your waist, open up. Remember, you can do this also sitting down. If you're sitting down, you would do this like so, okay? Three, four, bring the leg back into the center and slowly relax it down and shake it out. You do the whole thing sitting down. All right, so grab for the right foot. Bring the left knee in, hug it right in, draw the thigh, straighten your right leg if you are standing. Three, four, and then bring your left hand out, knee to the left, hand on the waist. You can do the sitting, straighten that right leg. Two, three, big smile, four, and bring it down. Shaking it out, shaking it out, and palms together at the heart. I'm just having a sitting up nice and tall, soles of the feet on the ground. Just want, I just want to turn this off so it doesn't, there we go. I want you to imagine, especially if you were here since the beginning, the breath into all four palm areas, the belly, the side body, the lower back, and the upper chest, and really breathe into all parts of those. Maybe if you were here at the beginning, you still feel the palms. And if you weren't here, do this class tomorrow. Take a little lunch break. Uh, do this during your lunch break. Feeling gratitude for showing up, taking time out of your day to move and breathe and connect as a community. Namaste, everyone. Okay, so that was it. That was chair yoga. It's for all. Oh, hi, Carrie. <laughs> Okay, so remember this will be on your IG, IGT, my IGTV, not yours. So you can do this anytime. All right, guys, have a super day. TGIF. <laughs>